To say that the Phoenix Valley is a hot place to live would be a total understatement. Cade this temperature Creek. seems pretty high. Cave uh, Creek is really Yeah, good. Cave Creek, Fountain Hills, uh, they don't look good either. And frankly, <laughs> Wickenburg is a total loss. With that in mind, I built my RX-7 to handle these higher temperatures, but I myself, having grown up in San Diego, was not built to handle these higher temperatures, so I enjoy things like air conditioning in my cars, and until recently, the R12 AC system in my RX-7 was working great. That was until the AC compressor decided to die. So, rather than try to find an R12 compressor and deal with the hassles of R12 refrigerant, I decided to convert my entire system over to an R134 system using the JP3 Motorsports kit. Now, in this kit, it allows you to use the much cheaper and easier to find RX-8 compressor and condenser. Now, in this series of videos, I will show you the conversion process along with sharing the final results and the costs. Welcome to Aaron's Eccentric Garage. So in addition to unplugging the battery, I do need to crawl underneath the car to take off the belly pan, the front splitter, and also drain the radiator, take out the air conditioning condenser, and remove the power steering cooling lines. These are just some of the first steps to do in order to do this conversion for the RX-8 system into the RX-7 for JP3 Motorsports kit. continues to drain the last bits of fluid into the bucket. I do need to take out pretty much all of my intake system and also my carbon fiber shroud that hides uh, my ABS unit because I do need to access the AC pipes that are hidden underneath the charge pipes feeding the rear turbo and also underneath the heat shield. So there's a lot of things that have got to come out on top while I wait for the stuff to drain in the bottom. of everything in the front of the engine already taken out. So I have the fans, the radiator, the intake pipes and filter box, plus I have the AC lines, the high and low side, already off of the strut tower going into the evaporator inside of the cabin. Now, I do still need to take out the condenser and also need to take out the power steering cooling pipe that's in front but I'm gonna save that for another day because in order for me to properly order the kit for this system, I need to know if it was either a MANA or DENZO system. So fun fact for those who didn't know that in the 90s for the FD body, you might have gotten one of two systems uh, and the only real way to really tell are a few specific things and the biggest, easiest way of knowing is to pull out your evaporator box and see what type of uh, expansion valve is in your evaporator. Now, if you have one style, it's a Denzo. If you have another style, it's a MANA system. So it's a pain in the butt. Although um, I am glad to have so much of the engine apart because this will actually give me an opportunity to really get in and deep clean again. Um, so it's been about a year since I really got in there and got in the nitty gritty and that was actually uh, it's a good opportunity for me to paint a few things, clean a few things, and uh, maybe repair a few things, get some new hoses, all those little tiny things. So, but that's for another day. So now it's time to get inside of the car and take out the evaporator box.
Okay, so I have the evaporator out of the Mazda and I have what's called the Denso uh, evaporator, but before I show you how I know that, let me just explain. Um, the inside of this evaporator is disgusting and it's a miracle. I don't know how I had actually any air flowing through it. Um, so without further ado, here's something gross. You can see it's all cake black. I mean, I just, ugh. I mean, it's got hair, gross. But so this expansion valve right here is the Denso expansion valve. That's how you can tell. But yeah, this thing is like I said, caked in gunk and oil, oily-ish. I'm not exactly sure how, like I said, I had any airflow. Um, I'm pretty sure this is, never been taken out of the car so yuck thankfully when i'm taking this apart for the conversion to the rx8 and the r134 this will all get cleaned and i suspect it's gonna get really 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 cold so yay